Hey there, thanks for tuning into Deck Bricks. I'm Chris, and on a recent trip to California, I got a chance to visit Bricks and Minifigs Ontario, one of the many used Lego stores in the California area. I also got a chance to check out Bricks and Minifigs Anaheim as well, and so this will be a bit of a two-pack used Lego store adventure where we take a look at Bricks and Minifigs Anaheim and Ontario and see some of the interesting things I found at those used Lego stores. And so, without further ado, let's jump on over to the stores. So the first location I got a chance to visit was Bricks and Minifigs Ontario, and this was the very first time I had actually gotten to explore the store, which was an absolute blast. I always loved going to Bricks and Minifigs, and I actually grew up going to the original Bricks and Minifigs store in Canby, Oregon, which was a relatively short road trip drive away from my hometown of Seattle, so it was really cool just seeing a different location in a different state. The prices of everything were pretty good, the only thing was that I honestly kind of owned almost everything they had, so there wasn't a ton for me to get, although I did manage to find a couple of unique items to pick up myself. This was really interesting. It was a sealed box of the Lego like World City crossing train track, which was very cool. Also really cool to see the original Mindstorms RCX system, which was fully sealed. I was very, very tempted to pick it up, but unfortunately I knew I just didn't quite have the luggage space to bring it home, so I had to pass on it for that point. This one was interesting because the set name is literally just Technic, like that's the name of the set, and it also has an age range going up to 99, so just kind of a bizarre set there. But yeah, really cool to see that original RCX Mindstorm set. I don't actually own an RCX myself, so maybe at some point I will be able to purchase it at some point in the future and give it a go. I'm not even sure what software it will even work at, but I just wanted to check that out because it was really cool to see. And they even had some other bizarre and strange LEGO items, like this sealed LEGO holiday ornament set. I'm actually pretty sure I had this when I was a kid. The date set, I believe, like 2008, which makes sense, because that would have totally been when I was a kid getting it, so that was really cool. Never really seen that sort of packaging before, so that was quite interesting. And overall, it was a really fun store to be able to explore the different variety of used items they had. From minifigures, to sets, to all sorts of different builds, they had a pretty good selection of pretty fairly priced items, and it was a really fun store, with one of my favorite parts being the inflatable gigantic Lego minifigure outside the store, more on that later on. As you can see here, they had a pretty decent selection of licensed and non-licensed minifigures, including a pretty good Ninjago selection, which is always very cool to see, and I really like this section here of just smaller builds that they had priced at really nice prices. This set here was a set I didn't own yet, but since it was $250, I decided to pass up on it for now, but maybe I'll be getting it in the future. But one thing that I did actually get to do while I was at the store was meet up with Kodiak Captures, one of the best Bionicle Makas out there who has this really cool Bionicle themed Instagram page. He just happened to be in the area at the same time and it was really awesome of him to be able to meet up with me here. And I got a chance to actually get hands on with some of his models, which was so, so cool. I have actually reviewed one of his builds in the past, which was the Kabrua mock that he made, as well as his official Canon Toa Kaga Pooks, which won the Bionicle Toahaga fanon contest back in the day, so it was really cool to actually be able to meet him and be able to actually just talk to him about his different mocks and building styles, so huge shout out to Fergus aka Kodiak Captures for meeting me here, thank you for doing it, and it was really cool to meet you, I'm sure we'll meet up in the future next time I'm in California, and hit me up if you ever visit Seattle as well. Of course, he had built some mocks for the Yesterday Questers, which is a future Bionicle fanon contest I plan to run here on the Duckbrook channel so it was really cool to see those mocks, and who knows, maybe those may be some of the future winners, upon which I'm gonna have to review them myself. It was one thing seeing these incredible builds on Instagram, but actually getting the chance to get hands-on with them, put them in my own poses, and take pictures was an absolute blast, and I just want to say thank you to Kodiak Captures for letting me do that. They were so much fun, and I can't wait to do more stuff with you in the future. But that was not the only location, because after I got a chance to quickly unbox one of these sets that I got, which was this really fun RC-related car, which was still fully sealed, I actually built it while I was in California, that was not the only Bricks and Minifigs location I went to. As I mentioned in the intro, I also got a chance to go to Bricks and Minifigs San Diego, as well as Bricks and Minifigs Anaheim on a slightly separate trip, which I figured might as well cover in this video as well, to make it kind of a California used Lego store adventure. 
So this right here is Bricks and Minifigs San Diego. Now, I'm gonna be completely honest, I only got like a couple of small items here because I already owned most of everything they had, but it was still, again, really cool to go to yet another used Lego store, which even had some Comic-Con minifigures. Very, very interesting to see some of those very rare Comic-Con stuff, like the Batman and Joker pack and like the Brickheads there. Super, super cool stuff. And the prices were also pretty good. 90 bucks for the Lego AquaZone Aquasark set was really amazing. That's one of my favorite classic Lego underwater sets, so that was really awesome to see, and I like the variety of stuff they had. Of course, there were a lot of Star Wars stuff, but you also had a ton of other items as well. I guess now I've just kind of realized it makes total sense they had Comic-Con exclusives because this was Bricks and Minifigs San Diego after all, aka San Diego Comic-Con, so yeah, that makes total sense they would have them in stock, but it was still very cool to see them in a Bricks and Minifigs used Lego store because you don't often get to see them. Now, one of the most interesting things that they had here were some of these used Lego sets at pretty remarkable prices. I think the Ahsoka Tano T6 shuttle without the minifigures was like 30 bucks, which is kind of crazy given that that set just released for around 70, so very cool to see that. And they even had a selection of Lego movie sets, which was super cool given that the anniversary is coming up in February. This, of course, was a very rare set that was cool to see. The Bark Speeder with Sidecar with the original Phase 2 Captain Rex minifigure. Super sought after. And I personally really enjoyed seeing some sealed Lego Hero Factory and Chima sets that were buildable figures because I grew up on Lego action figures like Bionicle and Hero Factory and stuff like that. So it was really awesome just being able to see them sealed and kind of unlock that piece of my childhood memories. Of course, they had a great selection of minifigures as well, including a ton from Lord of the Rings, an entire table dedicated to Lego Harry Potter, which was super cool, and even some used Lego sets and Ziplocs, which was quite nice. One of the sets I do already own but was awesome to see fully sealed was that Lego R2-D2 Mindstorm set. Very interesting to see stuff like that, and overall, getting a chance to explore the store itself and see shelves dedicated to GWPs and Speed Champions and Technic and Polybags was very, very fun. Honestly, I don't have much else to say about this particular store other than it was just another one of the Bricks and Minifig U stores. Great selection of stuff. And just to call out some final stuff, that Blacktron Renegade on a stand was really awesome to see, and that Ahsoka Tano's T6 shuttle was actually $25 without minifigs, which is crazy. But now it's time to make our way over to the final location of this tour, which was Bricks and Minifigs Anaheim. This one's actually pretty close to Disneyland and Universal Studios, so it's always a perennial favorite of mine to visit every time I get a chance to go. And here you can see my adventure there. Now, I actually went to this store at a slightly different time than the other ones in this video, but it was still cool to be able to experience this and explore around the store itself. They had a great Bionicle selection, some Mars Mission sets. Oh my goodness, so cool to see Mars Mission in a U. Lego store, definitely one of my favorite classic space-styled Lego themes. I guess it's not really a classic space, I would say it's more of like a slightly modern one, but 2008, still cool to see, and that Bionicle selection was actually quite good. Seeing Holly with the canister was awesome, Toa Mari Holly there, they even had some Fright Nights from Lego Castle, Lego Ninja and Force Men, so a ton of vintage stuff as well, and I just love the decor of the store, showcasing a lot of these Lego posters, you have some stuff from Ninjago Possession, as well as the GWP rewards for Lego posters themselves, and overall, I just really enjoyed seeing all sorts of different sets on the shelves, from vintage to modern to classic. They had a very wide spread of different Lego sets, and of course, since it is a used Lego store, their selection is continually evolving. So this, I believe, was filmed, I think, back in November of 2022. It's been a while since I filmed this. This may be one of the longest times between filming and publishing a video that I've actually done, but I kind of realized I was sitting on the footage and never actually put it out, so I figured why not showcase it in this particular video going around Californian used Lego stores, but yeah, this is Bricks and Minifigs Anaheim, pretty good selection of stuff, even some of the European exclusive Lego Magazine polybag giveaways, so that was very interesting to see, and you can see me crouch down there doing some quick price comparisons to Bricklink, as I always do in used Lego stores like these, but of course they had a lot of really great stuff, including a very large mural on the back of the wall, showcasing Bricks and Minifigs fully built out, which was super, super cool. 
Now from the store, I actually got a pretty substantial haul. There were quite a number of things that I wanted to pick up that I didn't own already. One of which was a classic Lego airport set, which was really cool to see. I also got the large scale buildable Statue of Liberty in Sand Green, which was a set that I've had on my wish list for a while, but never actually got it until I visited this store. I believe that I also got some Lego homemaker family style sets like the large kitchen they did. So kind of some vintage and obscure items picked up at this particular store, but I really enjoyed just seeing the unique selection and out of all three stores this one had the most stuff that I didn't already own so it was really fun just being able to explore the store itself there's a Statue of Liberty up there that you can see I eventually got and just pick up a ton of unique Lego items one really cool thing that they had one of the times that I went in was a collection of the sealed Lego McDonald's Tohunga poly bags from Bionicle 2001 those Tohunga poly bags got a lot of people into Bionicle and it was really cool seeing them sealed I think the only other time I've actually actually seen them sealed was in Christian Faber's private collection, which he did actually give them to me, so thank you to Christian Faber for that, but it was very cool seeing a selection of those sealed sets because I have never seen those poly bags in such good condition. And yes, because this is California after all, they did have a couple of San Diego Comic Con exclusives, as well as these really interesting Tricked Bricks Lego stands and cases, which I found to be really interesting to display your Lego sets. I didn't pick up any myself, but I might actually look into that for my my future Lego museum because I feel like that is a pretty cool way to display Lego sets with all the minifigures with the sets themselves so maybe one day when I actually open up my Lego museum which is something I've been wanting to do for years I'll look into getting some of those cool acrylic display cases specifically custom made for actual Lego sets because they just look really interesting. Now this Bricks and Minifigs, like almost all of them, had a good bulk program as well. They did have an entire tray dedicated to just Bionicle pieces, so I had to get a ton of Bionicle pieces just to add to my collection. I mean, I maybe already have enough already, but I figured why not just get some more. And they even were doing a special Thanksgiving giveaway for Turkey Tom, as well as a ton of sales for Black Friday, which was very, very cool. I wish I got that LEGO Sports Hockey set, I'm just now seeing it in the video itself, but I did manage to get it when I actually went to a different Bricks and Minifigs on my road trip, so eventually I was able to get it. All right, so that was Bricks and Minifigs Anaheim. This is one of my favorite places to shop at when I'm here in the California area. Got some fantastic Black Friday deals. Would highly recommend checking this shop out on Black Friday. And this is a really great shopping adventure and one of the coolest used Lego stores out there. And as I carry off my loot, you can sum up this video. We've went to three different locations in California, Anaheim, San Diego, and Ontario, but there's a lot more, so I definitely will have to come back. All right, and with that, we have summed up our look at Bricks and Minifigs Ontario and Anaheim. Let me know down in the comments below if these are your local stores or if you have been to these stores before. What do you think of them? I certainly had a really fun time exploring them. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video, and be sure to like and subscribe for even more LEGO news, reviews, discussion, and analyses, and adventures coming your way very soon, and bye for now.